you mentioned that you were with Ulimu at the time its first commander, General Kape, was killed. Yes, sir. Can you throw a little bit of light on the circumstances that attended the death of our General Kape? When General Aladi G.V. Kuma came for Guinea with the notion to come and persuade the government of Sevenu so he can head LUDF, but being that General Kape was already there and it's well known in Sevenu because he, he have already started boosting the morale of Liberians fighters who are living in Sevenu at that time. So he found it difficult to penetrate the command structure. He tried by every possible means he never make it. So a meeting was held in Kenema town at the third brigade in Kenema. Were you there at the time? I, I, I was bodyguard to, to, to late Bambangida, the man who, who shot General Kape. I was bodyguard to him. Do you remember any other name for this uh, Bambangida? And Sumana Kamara is his real name, but he's dead now. Can you say under whose orders uh, General Kape was shot? Was Babangida on his acting on his own or was he acting on the He order? never did it on his own. The mission came directly from Alaji G V Kuma. Because it's like when the tussle started, some other group of people went beyond Alaji Kuma, like Rupert Johnson then, Amar Yulo then, everybody was beyond Alaji Kuma because they knew he's a businessman or he have small financial power. So everybody was behind him in Kenema. Oh, our chief now come from Guinea, blah, blah. He brought some American U.S. camouflage, red berets in the container what he, what, what he brought with him. They started sharing the uniform to people that have raised the momentum of LUDF men because at that time, we just used to wear fiti, the green fiti. He, he brought camouflage. So everybody was in their camouflage suit. And Kape was not having other strong strong men that could have really able to secure him so the civilian people deem it necessary or fit they say he should be behind the brigade in kenema they gave him one lodge there so that the place he was residing but it came to a time around 12 30 in the night a large kuma drive to the horse of general uh, uh, babagida now and Sumana Kamara and tell him that I have already given an order to Ama Yulu to carry on the execution of General Kape so I can become the leader for LUDF. But I have my own name that I brought from Guinea. When the mission kicks, then I will announce myself. And were you there at the time such discussions were going on? It was right outside because the whole place we're living in is just a military barrier. So there is nothing strange that you can discuss in room to, to anybody. You see, they can always discuss outside. And then from there, then the uh, execution was carried out. He left. He went back because he, he, his own lodge was right before Kenema Brigade. So he left, he went back to his house. Gen then Baba Gida said, gentlemen, you should get ready. We we'll start smoking, drinking. Was Ama Yulo at the time? Ama Yulo was the mission commander. He had never yet come because we were waiting for him to come before we can go. So when he came, the high general Bambagida said, Let everybody get on board. We were having one camouflage Land Rover Jeep, we were way pickup. What Amari Lo were having real pickup. So we we'll get on board. All the SBUs, they say everybody get on board, get on board. We went there in the night. It was almost after one. They rack out the door. General Kappa came out wearing the night gown. The night gown was on him. He came out with some flowers inside, designed with flowers. He came out. 
as soon as he opened the door, he spot everybody in Bo Arm. So he wanted to get inside back by turning his back to General Babangida that had Babangida released the BAR on his street with full shot on his back. He dropped. Right in front of the living room, he dropped. The house left. But before we could go, General Babangida took the silver chain of General Cape and put it in the military packet that he was having. He shoved it inside, they took the, the silver watch and the silver ring and put it in the chassis. So as soon as the civilian army heard that firing, they came to check. And they knew already what was going on. The heart. Tom Yuma, the resident minister in Kenema, came straight to Ama Yulo's place. And they arrested him and his bodyguards. They take them to CRD district headquarters in Kenema. The, the commissioner is there now, but it's now, I think, director of police in Seven now. They call him Munu. Call him what? Munu, Commissioner Munu, as at that time, he was a pretty young man. He knows his job. Is he still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. He's in Sevenyun. They took the photo of General Kape. Then we all were there that morning. We slept there. So in the morning, they said nobody should go nowhere. We were disarmed. And they put a weapon on one side. The hard they say, but then this thing is simple. If Bambagida is denying, Ama Yulo is denying who did the firing, we should ask the men. But nobody could be brave at that time to say, Oh, I'm a commander, fire that man. You can't do it. So later on, they say, But then these are small, small children, and let them go out. The how where we are, we are going out, they say they should search everybody. We were searched by the police. Then they gave back our uniform to us. Then they called Bambagida in front of the, the whole CRD crew now. It was right outside. They turned the body of Kape was laying down now in the Land Rover Jeep. So they had to call Bambagida in front. When he came, they started searching him. They took some money, wallet, other things. When they came down to this right parking now, they had to took the chain out, the wristwatch, and the silver ring. They say, you said you never went at the sea. This ring, the watch, with the chain, alone is evidence against you. They say, who sent you? So he say it was through the order of Ama Yulo. They asked Yulo, Yulo to say, Alaji GV Koma. Immediately Koma left from Kenema. Because he knew already they have called his name at the police station, so he left. He went back Guinea. Already they have arrested Ama Yulu and Bambagida. So everybody went back home. We were there, but they, they decided to disarm everybody that nobody should walk around with weapon, but you can walk with your uniform, they doesn't have problem with that. But nobody should walk around with, with weapons. The had took them directly to Panema Road, the state prison in Fritan. After three weeks, Elijah Puma came back. He came, he reported he said to the government of Sevenu, one way and another they fixed it up. We were to Kenema, they said, let everybody go to Toma Base. We all were to Toma Base. The had a bro. He the Mr. Kuma in front. They said that the new leader will have him. And in fact, we have changed the name from LUDF to Yulimo to D. Mm -hmm. 